so dry. It's so warm. Chris is here now to update us. Good morning. Good morning. Yes, uh, no official red flag warning in effect today, but don't let your guard down because drought is widespread and the, the weather is hot and a fire could definitely start. Uh, we're dry this morning. A couple of clouds here and there, but otherwise it's a very quiet start to your day. We have mostly 40s and low 50s across our higher elevations and primarily 50s and 60s for the lower elevations east and west. Colorado Springs, look at you, 70, leading the pack for one of the warmest places in the state. Leadville and Gunnison tied for coolest at 38 degrees, 43 in Alamosa. It's 53 in the Castle Rock area at Hope's House and over in gorgeous Glenwood Springs, 49 degrees from Bob Locker. Good morning, weather watchers. Yesterday, there were a couple of thunderstorms on the eastern plains that reached the severe criteria. We actually had a few landspout tornadoes up near Julesburg and Sedgwick. The same thing could happen again today. Areas to the east of Denver could see a few thunderstorms, but it's a dry start. It'll be a dry afternoon. Maybe a few clouds popping here on the 25 quarter, about three or four o'clock, just enough that you get a little shade from that hot sunshine. And then on the eastern plains where the moisture is a little bit deeper, that's where a couple of thunderstorms may pop up and grow to the severe limits. They'll quickly push off into Kansas. High pressure is coming in for the weekend. It's going to be a hot, hot weekend ahead. We do have an air quality alert today in the Denver Metro for high levels of ozone near the surface. Use caution if you have a compromised respiratory system. 70s and 80s in the mountains today, 90s eastern plains and western slope, even warmer tomorrow. We're going for the 100 degree mark in Denver, 90 tomorrow in Aspen, Colorado. 95 to 100 for the next five days. Britton Allen and the thunderstorm chances really few and far between. It's just a hot stretch of mid-July weather. Man, oh man, day after day after day. Chris, thank you very much. This Saturday,